is our Bristolian superhero, but today Josie is uh, hanging out with some real superheroes. She's put on her cape, flown across the channel and landed in Disneyland Paris to meet the stars of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. In a not-so-distant galaxy, one lone ranger is on a mission to meet the stars of one of Marvel's most famous movie franchises. I'm ready to blast off to the premiere of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, where I'll captain my own space mission to become part of their elite force. This is launch in 3, 2, 1. I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of guts being a Star-Lord. I'll leave manning those spaceships to the professionals. I prefer life on planet Earth where my feet are firmly on a red carpet. That's right, I'm at the Marvel Avengers campus in Disneyland Paris where the stars are about to arrive in true Guardian style. They've landed in an actual spaceship. And as they change out of their spacesuits into something less formal, time for a catch up. Oh, this morning. Yeah. Can you believe it's nearly 10 years since the original movie? And Peter Quill, Gamora, Groot. I think the big question on everybody's lips is how long did it take you to learn your lines? Oh my God, I still don't know them. I still don't know them. <laughs> Drax, Rocket, Nebula and Mantis. But you know your little antennas? Yeah, where are they? Yeah, I know. I forgot to put them on, no. Hello, we come in peace are all back. <laughs> Come on, Drax. Seriously, dude? I think the Guardians lost something in translation there, so let's see how I do with Zoe and Chris. <laughs> bonjour, I should say bonjour. Oh, that is, wow, bonjour. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah. fluent French, <laughs> OK. Yeah. Merci, je oh. m'appelle Josephine. Uh, Josephine. Oh, yeah. You're uh, doing much better than we are. <laughs> have you been around the park yet? You've got it. Yeah. You've you been at the, the part yet? Oh, I thought you said, have I gotten the part yet? Do you know what? I'm going to warn you now. I've got a funny accent. I'm Bristolian. Oh, Bristolian. Yes. I will try and talk a little bit slower because it is like a pirate. Oh, got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Got that sorted. Back to the interview. Uh, I've watched all three of them, and I've got to say, I think this one is the funniest. It, I oh. laughed my socks off the oh, whole way Oh, that's so nice. Yay! Thank you. And maybe if you open yourself up to it, there's a possibility. I don't think so, Quinn. Quill. Quill. Uh, you two, oh, it is, is it a thing? I need to know, is it a thing? I think it will always be a thing between Peter and Gamora. Oh, yes, poor Peter. Oh, please. He's got girlfriend problems. <laughs> I mean, you are a very different Gamora in this film. She's a little rougher <laughs> around the edges. Just a bit. tiny bit. <laughs> because, oh, hang on, I'll let him tell you. Some dumbass Earth dude who met a girl, fell in love. That girl died and then came back a total... I happen to think that she's a lot looser. She always had to carry that responsibility of making sure that we stayed on track. Now that's Nebula's job. <laughs> right. And that job is saving the galaxy and saving one of their own. And it's not the job they take lying down. Drax, sit up! That's what it's here for. Drax, it's called a sofa. It's not a bed. Well, I find it hard to believe it doesn't have multiple purposes. Well, so far so good, but time now for my little game. And you are competing for Baby Groot with, have you ever had a galaxy bar? Mm. I, I believe I have. Already. Deal whoever wins splits the galaxy bar. Done. Well, I wouldn't go that far because I have just dropped it on the floor. I don't care. So, oh, really? Aww. And since Walkmans and music are so integral to the Guardians, it's time for Chris and Zoe to face the music. And press. Go. The rules are so simple, Got even it. Drax would understand them. Got Fastest it. to name the song wins. Banana Rama, um, uh, 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 Venus. I knew you'd be good at this, Zoe. I, I knew it. No, just that one. One, <laughs> two, three. Go. Is it Nicki Minaj? I made to fly. Starship. Yes! Oh! I'm gonna give you That's a song thing. I've never heard before. With Chris too down, I'm wondering, does he know his musical I Am Group from his elbow? Let's go <laughs> down. Press play. Chris. Elton John, Rocket Man? Yes! Oh! I knew it. Woo! I knew you had that one. Great, one, two, three. Three. No, not yet. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, Are you three. ready? It's a classic. 
credit. It's right. David Bowie. Yes. I just don't know the song. Life on Mars. So only half a point. <laughs> that makes you, Zoe, the ultimate guardian of the galaxy. <gasps> I'll get and you next time, Zoe. We'll share it. We'll share it. <laughs> oh, they're good fun. Do you know what it is? Even if you're a huge Hollywood star, if there's an element of competition, you still really want to win, <laughs> even if it's a chocolate bar. I love we were watching that, and I love the fact that he thought her first question was, did you get the part? I know, I know. <laughs> Imagine going to a massive premiere, everyone's flown to Disneyland Paris. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the part? What, what have you <laughs> well, just been watching? <laughs> just Very brilliant. Good.